this trip was for like a couple choirs to come together. John Conahan wanted to do a performance for the DEC INY company. The organization is the Distinguished Concerts International New York. It's a world-class stage and being in select choir, obviously, we're very interested in music and we love doing it. So being there was definitely like a goal. The select choir was invited to perform at the DCINY Choir Festival up in New York at the Lincoln Center this March. We performed in Alice Tully Hall and we did the music of John Conahan, choir director from Wissahickon Area High School. This was a good trip because it brought select choir together and it's my senior year so this was like a really fun trip to go on as, as like a senior. It's like this really big company. I, we weren't really the only choir. It was Wissahickon, Narstown, and Sauterton. Ms. Danoff said that she doesn't usually do this at all with her choir, so it was really exciting for us to try something new. Well, we just got here, and we're looking forward to dinner at Planet Hollywood tonight, and we also might see a movie. First day, I can't believe it. Uh, I plan on exploring. I plan on walking around. Um, I was grateful that, you know, we got a bus because we just found out that we actually just got our bus booked uh, yesterday. Um, I think once we got up to New York, it was really surreal. You know, I'm going to college up here, so every time I come up to New York, it's like, this is home, that's where my home's about to be, so it's really, really good. kids have been having a fantastic time today. Tomorrow's our first rehearsal. It can only get better from here. And we're just super, super excited to be here. Um, New York is actually the city that doesn't sleep. That wasn't like an uh, exaggerated thing. And yeah, it was super fun. I would say that the choir got a lot closer because we ate dinner to, um, together almost every night, so it was really fun. We had a lot of fun um, talking to each other, standing outside of the restaurant, waiting to get inside. And it was just a lot of fun being together and spending time together. And uh, we went to Planet Hollywood and we were singing on the subways and everything and people enjoyed that. So we were on the subway to practice at the Lincoln Center for one of our rehearsals and on the way we decided to perform and practice the songs that we were going to be performing beforehand. Um, a lot of people in the subway got really excited and happy and asked us what we were doing and actually some of them were interested in going afterwards. <laughs> I think the best experience was just um, walking around, getting to know the people there, and seeing what life in New York is. Um, my experience in New York was basically getting to know the history of New York and seeing the different sites and getting to meet new people. We went to the Met. We were in Times Square for a little bit. Um, we mostly just walked around and went to rehearsal for the show on Monday. Everything was amazing. The views, the places, places to eat was amazing too. shopping in Times Square with a few friends and we're at Forever 21 right now. On Saturday we had about a three hour rehearsal which was um, just a run through of all the music and then going about and
picking at those spots that were weakest. Sunday, we had about a two-hour rehearsal and just did more run-throughs and going back and picking out those spots. And Monday, it was just a full run-through before the concert. We had like two, three rehearsals with um, Mr. Conahan. That was the director. And um, it was at the Crown Plaza Hotel. And um, it was it was very different rehearsing with somebody other than um, Mrs. Danoff. And um, it was very cool. We um, It was hard, but the way we were prepared enough and it was easy to because we were um because when you were rehearsed with um Mr. Conahan you were able to get the how he wants it and you were around other people that seen the same parts as you so it wasn't that hard and if you got lost you could ask him he was a pretty cool guy so well John he's he's a wonderful man he he's funny he's nice he knows how to direct the choir he's good at his job he and that's what was meant for him the fact that he was serious about his music but he's like very jokative like if you mess up he won't like yell at you or anything he'll just understand and be really cooperative it's just meant for him you could tell how the way he teaches the choir and how he basically finds a way to put each voice together to make a blend of voices. Hi there, my name is John Conahan, and I'm an American composer. And we're here in New York City, uh, right in uh, the Crown Plaza Times Square Ballroom, where we're about to have a rehearsal for the DCINY Vocal Colors Concert at Lincoln Center on March 20th, 2017. And I'm psyched to be a part of this concert. This concert's gonna feature three living American composers, myself, Eric Barnum, and Tim Tokic. And it's gonna feature a wider range of uh, choirs that are coming together to perform the music together. And it's gonna feature uh, a lot of new pieces, pieces that have been written in the last couple of years. And uh, on our part of the concert, we're actually gonna feature a premiere as well. So we'll have a premiere at Lincoln Center uh, this Monday night. And DCINY, Distinguished Concerts International of New York, ask uh, Eric and Tim and I uh, if we'd be interested in doing a concert at Lincoln Center of our music. And then we reached out to different performing ensembles who have uh, wonderful reputations for having high ethic and performance and uh, put together this, this, this incredible performance. And uh, we're going to be uh, having a great time over the next two days, or three days, rehearsing for it and then culminating in our concert on Monday night. Charlie, circle that, make sure you're there. The next one is the bottom of page uh, four. Doom. This has been an amazing experience. Uh, I was here three years ago. And I worked with adults, but I like working with kids a lot better. Uh, my age, I like being on the, a senior this year, a freshman. I was here last time. Working with Springfield has been a lot of fun. I can't wait for Saturday to come. The sound has been amazing. The volume has been amazing. The notes have been 100% accurate, and I can't wait to perform on Monday night. So we just basically did run-throughs. We would do... Um, ensemble rehearsals and we would run through songs and then go back and practice what we thought was the weakest spot. So we had three other schools perform with us. We had Wythicken High School, um, we had Springford High School and we had Southerton High School. And Southerton didn't come until the day of the performance. So what they did, they actually um, rehearsed at their own school with their own conductor and they had the music so they rehearsed with their conductors. And John Conahan actually went to each um, school and worked with their choir to make sure that they were singing the music correctly. And I know Northtown, we actually went to with the Hicken one evening and we rehearsed with John Conahan that evening. And then when we went up to New York, we all went to rehearsal and we blended together very well. The way he ran the practice is that I seen from him was basically the way he moved his hands and emotions on his faces that we know what to sing and how to sing it.
interacting with the professionals is something that is, I think, completely wonderful. No matter if it's a conductor or the, the, the concert producer or the composer, but in this case, as the composer, I can speak directly to the performers about the music, what the impetus was, meanings behind it, things that you can't get when you get the choral octavos or just work on it privately. So that kind of one-to-one -one connection can really help people elevate their performance and have a better awareness of how composition works and what music can really be about. In rehearsals, we gathered in our parts and we sat by height and we sang the songs um, in order of concert order and John Conahan directed us and made sure that we blended well and that it went smoothly. I spent time at home um, looking looking up the songs that we had. Um, the composer had like a link online of all the music. So, um, you know, you just spent time at home listening to the music and um, reading over your parts and stuff like that and um, asking questions when you were in school and asking other people and going over your parts with other people to help you out. It was really fun. It was such a good experience to listen to everyone else practicing and we created a really great sound and it was really fun. Because when you were rehearsed with um, Mr. Conahan, you were able to get the how he wants it and you were around other people that seen the same parts as you. So it wasn't that hard and if you got lost, you could ask him. He was a pretty cool guy. Choirs are doing a great, great job. It's clear that an amazing amount of energy has been committed to the music. And it was great to bring us together because now we've been able to spend time on the nuances. And we spent time on nuances for two days. And tomorrow we're going to see all that come together. It's going to be great. I think it's going to go great. Um, basically from what we have been practicing on in our last couple of rehearsals, it sounds pretty good. And our practicing is going to make us get even better. So it should be good tonight. It was fun. It was different. Um, some of them had accents because they were from Arkansas. So it was nice to hear the different diversity and see everyone that was there. As a singer, it was like eye-opening because I, all, like, I really want I really want to be a singer when I grow up. So just like being able to travel and sing, like basically do what I love. I think it should go really well. Um, I think we're really prepared. Um, we still have a little bit of work to do in today's uh, dress rehearsal, but I think we should all pull it together when uh, Saturday comes, and I think it'll be really good. It was um, it was just a great feeling to be on the stage that many choirs, like world-renowned choirs, and many singers and musicians perform on. So for me to get that chance in high school was just a, a great, a great experience. It was amazing. Like, I like heard about the Lincoln Center, but like just being there, it was it was beautiful. Like, it was the stadium. Well, not the auditorium. It's just like it's really big. The concert was great. I thought we did really well. That's probably the best we've ever performed. I'd say the best experience I had was maybe the concert, mostly, because we get to share our voices with others and share this happy moment with our families. The concert was amazing. It was marvelous. I had a great time. It was a little nerve-wracking at first, but it turned out to be great. It was a great experience. After this, now we've professionally performed. This is a big deal. Um, I never thought that I'd go to the Lincoln Center in my life, and now I've performed there, so that's really crazy. Concert went fantastic last night, because the way we sounded volume-wise, it, it was amazing. We sounded like a professional choir. And the kids worked really, really hard and put on an absolutely fantastic performance at a very prestigious venue. It was really good, it was fun working with all them people. I think, you know, rehearsal, it was different, but when it was all together, it was really good, so it turned out nice. 
right now that the choir could go places besides, you know, just like churches or just singing in the hallway. So if people have the experience, like the option to go, I would encourage them to go. There were people who didn't go and they kind of missed out because it was a really fun trip and it was really great and it was fun to be there. It was a good trip because it brought select choir together and it's my senior year so this was like a really fun trip to go on as, as like a senior and Ms. Danoff said that she doesn't usually do this at all with her choir so it was really exciting for us to try something new. Sleeping over myself was the best experience because of the bonding. I feel like our choir grew whole as a like one instead of just singing. We have to sing as one all the time, but I feel like sleeping over, we got to fill our what was comfortable and what was uncomfortable for us. So now we know a little bit more of our boundaries and a little bit more about ourselves because you don't really know a person until you sleep over with them. Again. Being around Wister Hick and being around Southerton, and I think it was Spring Fort, you were able to show people, you were able to show people like the types of students that really go to Norristown, you know, sometimes people have the wrong meaning about this school, but you were able to, not even just the other schools, but people in general that were that you met there, and um, they asked where you were from, you would say Norristown, they don't know where Norristown, so you have to say outside of Philly, but now they know where you're from, now they know Norristown because you're bringing it up to them, so you're introducing something new, and the conduct, of, the conduct of your character shows them that, you know, there's some plenty of intelligent people that go here, and it was just, it, it was really, f you got to show people who you are, where you're from, and you're representing real well. My main thing I learned was basically how to focus on my, more like focus on my drive, because before this trip, I wasn't really focused on singing. But now, like when I went there and actually got to sing in front of all those people, I realized how much I loved it and how much I loved the lights. So it basically helped me with, you know, focusing more on singing. Performing at the Lincoln Center was, very, was a very surreal experience because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Many people don't get to do that and it's only if you're established. So that was really a privilege for us to perform at the Lincoln Center. Performance wise, we did fantastic last night. Um, the rehearsals really went well. The kids really put all their best effort into it. Um, and I think that they represented our community really, really well. They did a fantastic job while we were walking through the city. Um, we got to see lots of really cool sites. We went to the 9 11 memorial, we rode the subway, we went to the art museum, and we saw the Met Opera House. Um, and so we want to just take a second and thank you, the school board, and Dr. Samuels for allowing us to go on this trip so thank you so very much. I'd really like to thank Miss Dana for all the hard work and dedication that she put in and then also a lot of the money that she put out of pocket for us to go up and have fun and see all of New York. I want to say thank you so much and I appreciate everything you've done for us in order to go to New York. To the chaperones, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for helping this experience be such a wonderful experience for everyone that went. Um, I'm very glad that you went and I wish that you have another opportunity to go. I want to say thank you, Ms. Danoff, for giving us the opportunity to go to New York and to sing and be amazing. The amazing choir you know we are. And you put like a lot of hard work into this. And I'm very, well grateful for it that it happened my senior year. I'd like to say thank you because she really worked hard on this. She took her time on this. And it really showed that she cared about her choir kids because if she didn't, she wouldn't work as hard as she did. I would like to say thank you. Uh, she's an incredible teacher. Um, she really is a hard worker, and I love her, so thank you.